Welcome, welcome, welcome for the first time to geometry. This is the introduction. All right, so I want to talk to you a little bit about how to do this as a class, why I'm doing this, etc. I'm Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa Blackburn, and this is going to be a class, a free class for homeschoolers who want to use this for their high school geometry class. Um, it would be worth one Carnegie unit. And this is the book. Now, you don't have to do these videos as a class. You could just be watching them because you have a different class and you think this will help me explaining things, which absolutely feel free. But if you're doing it as a class, this is our book. This is the teacher's edition. Your students won't have that yellow part right there. And I will, it's McDougal Littell Geometry. Um, 2001 or 2004, I think those editions are the same, but I'll put the ISBN that works in the comments. And some of them say like California edition and stuff. Any state is okay. They're all the same. Um, you only need the student book. You don't need the teacher's book. But I'll tell you if you want to buy the teacher's edition what you get. Okay. So uh, if you do this as a class, I'll be telling you your homework in the comments. So, and they will only be the odds. The odds have the answers in the back of the book. And what I want you to do is do a problem. Go check the answer. Do another problem, go check the answer. I don't want you to do a whole page of math wrong and put it in your head that that's the way to do it. You're, the reason why you do homework is it's training. It's like exercising before a big competition. The, where you shine, where you don't get the answer is the test. So for the homework, you've got the answer and you need to check your answer every single time in the back of the book. Now, what the teacher's edition gives you that the student edition doesn't is it gives the answers to the even problems also and to the tests that are at the end of the chapter. So if you are doing this as a class, you can take the test at the end of the chapter. Um, you can check them maybe with Mathway or Wolfram Alpha, Alpha, Alpha some of those um, uh, algebra sites, but this is geometry and you have things called proofs and more word kind of problems and shape kind of problems. So I don't know that that would help you very much. So you might need the teacher's edition if you want to give the end of the chapter question test out of this book. Or you can buy, there is an assessment book. This is the one for algebra two, but there's a geometry one. It's blue. Um, that where it's full of tests. And this would have the test and the answers and you can find these online for not too expensive. Um, the problem is, is I kept ordering them. They kept sending me the wrong edition, but the edition doesn't really matter so much. So the good thing about if you buy these tests is they've got, um, they're easier than this end of chapter test and they even have three levels. They have A, B, and C. A is easy, B is average, and C is advanced. So and it's got all the answers, so that's pretty useful. But um, there is a, face, a free Facebook group that goes with this class that will have the test and the answers for free on the group. Now, this YouTube video might be out there for years, getting lots of views. And I don't know that this Facebook group will go on forever. It's called like Miss, Mrs. Lisa's Geometry. It's a private or secret group or something that one of the homeschool moms is doing, but I'm sure you can search it and request, um, request to be a part of it. And you can get all the tests and answers for free, my favorite price. And also more stuff. Like I'll be, there'll be, um, pep, um, where I worked out problems, there'll be pictures of that and stuff like that. So you might want to, so moms can only join this, not kids, because it will have the test and the answers on there. So moms only on the free Facebook group. Okay, so there's also required for this class a TI-84 graphing calculator. They're expensive, they're 100 bucks on sale for 80, uh, up to 130, but it's the last calculator you will need and, and you will get programs that you will use in geometry. So you're gonna need to get this as an investment, but you will use it from now on for every science and math class you will take all the way through college. And yes, there are different calculators out there. There's, there's better ones or ones that can do more. But this is the one that the college professors all got together and said, okay, that's the one. We're going to let them use it. It is not intuitive. So um, you have to usually have someone teach you how to use it. 
And if you did not have me for Algebra 1, I recommend you go back and find my Algebra 1 class that is also in YouTube and watch the Calculator Lab videos as they come out so that you can learn your calculator. So important. This is the difference between A's and F's in college now is how good you are with this thing and it is not intuitive. So you need to learn how to use it. All right. Um, your, the homework, it will only be the odds, and I want you to check your answer after every one. Don't want you to do a whole page wrong. And, um, and it's not every problem. So don't kill yourself trying to do every problem. There's a lot of problems out there that, um, that maybe they have word problems that they really haven't taught you the skills to do yet and stuff like that. So follow my wisdom and, and don't try to do every problem. Only do the ones in the comments that I tell you to do. Check it as you go. Watch the videos. I had kids do these classes this summer for summer school, and I had some who tried to not watch the videos, and they failed the test spectacularly. But the ones who watched the videos all had A's. So watch the videos. And while you are watching the videos, when I do a problem, you pause it and then you do the problem. Make sure you can do it because it's one skill level to watch me do it. It's a whole different thing for you to do it. So pause the video as needed and then come back. They're not real long. You can do it. All right. Uh, okay, if you still don't understand after watching me, you can watch Khan Academy videos and stuff like that. But do that as a last resort. Why? Because uh, when I used to teach public school, I taught honors, chemistry, and physics. And the kids never knew the math they needed to do for my class. So I always had to teach math first, and I would just fuss. What are those math teachers down there doing? Eating donuts? I wish I got paid to not teach math. Sounds like an easy gig to me. I was very smarty. Okay, but now that I have taught homeschool all the way from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade, all the way through, I realize it wasn't the kids' fault, it wasn't the teacher's fault, it wasn't the book's fault. It was that there is a lack of consistency in public school. Every year you get a different teacher. Every year you get a different book. Every year you learn a new way to do it, and it's just too much. And at the end, the kids are just like, ah, and they forget all of it. Nothing goes to long-term memory. So what I do is I use the same series of books for pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, and algebra 2. The book teaches it the same way, and then me teaching it the same way. For all four years, the kids come out because of consistency and repetition where they know it. I've had all these kids go to college and go, Miss Lisa, it was so easy. I already knew everything. I made an A. I had the best grade in the class. And it's because they got consistency and repetition for all four years. Um, I do songs and dances and hand claps. All of those are little hooks to help put it into your long-term memory. Anybody can learn it for a minute. To learn it and know it for years is a whole different thing and that's my goal, not for you to know it for a minute. So clap along, dance along, sing along, and it'll be fun too. Um, also, this first year that I'm doing this, I'm going to be re releasing videos weekly. I, would, I did them all this summer, but I'm going to release them weekly because I'd like to make some money off of YouTube. Um, I've made all my classes free. I want to bless the homeschool community and anybody else who wants to watch my classes or videos, but um, I'd like to get some money back. So like, share, and subscribe. I'm just like all the other YouTubers. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, then I can be a math influencer. Um, so, and also, it can bless more people. More homeschoolers can get good math. So, share with all your homeschool groups. Anybody you know, um, share them in that homeschool community. And, um, and hopefully, I know some people will be doing it in Texas and um, Hawaii. So, maybe I'll even go global and be, be helping a lot of people. So, the last thing is that I'm always going to leave you with the subliminal message because all these people hate math. I know. Why? Math is great. So I'm going to tell you, hopefully, every time at the end of the video, math is great.